the Southern Stars kick off their Ashes campaign in exactly a month on the 11th of August. Um, how excited are you for your first campaign and first tour over in England? Oh, very excited. I've only been out in the country that one time to India and that was really exciting and just can't wait to get over in England and hopefully take home the Ashes. How are the preparations coming along for this big tour? Oh, really well. We're really working hard at the moment. Every girl is putting in 100% so I think we're preparing really well. And uh, which of the English batters are you looking to target? Which are the ones that you're a bit wary of, the, the danger, danger girls over there? Well, obviously Sarah Taylor and Charlotte Edwards are probably their two main batters and we're going to really look to shut them down and we did that in the World Cup and it seemed to work. So. Cup, you are playing one test at the start. Do you take a different approach to try to shut those girls down with your uh, long form bowling? Yeah, definitely. You know, We have different bowling plans and look to tie them down and frustrate them a bit more with a lot more up our sleeve. We've got a lot more time. And just turning your attention to your teammates, uh, which of them do you think are really going to relish those English conditions? Oh, I think almost everyone. I th a lot of the girls have been over to England. Like, it's a pretty experienced team, I think. And you know, Jess Cameron and Rachel Haynes and people like that, I think, are really going to get on top of the conditions over there. Who are you backing out of your list to really fire over there? Who do you think is going to be a, a real game changer? I think our, our new one as well, Holly Ferling. I think she's going to really kill it with the ball. I think she's going to take a lot of wickets along with along with Pez and hopefully myself as well. And I think every girl is going to step up with the bat. And with the different age groups going on tour, you've been on tour before, like you said, to India. Uh, does that throw some different dynamics in? Or the younger girls seem to be a little more mischievous and play some tricks maybe on the, uh, the veterans of the team? Yeah, definitely. There's a, there's a lot of old jokes cracked towards the older girls and the change rooms are definitely uh, quite fun, especially with the coach as well. OK, well, thanks for joining us here today, Megan. Uh, we look forward to seeing you girls in action over in England. Hopefully you and the boys can both bring back the urn. Thank you very much.